Hey guys, hope you're doing great. Let's get right into it. So if you're like me, you're all too familiar with the problem in Final Cut Pro where you'll create a library and within half an hour to an hour's time, you all of a sudden find that your project has ballooned all the way to 10 to 15 gigabytes, perhaps even larger. Anyway, so I wanted to get to the bottom of this and create an experiment. And as you can see here, we have a Final Cut Pro library called File Size. And at the beginning, that project is only 292 kilobytes large. And straight away, we imported our media and just got a whole lot of random video clips. And as you can see there, uh, they don't really amount to much. I'll put the, the full file size on the screen now. So I imported them all and layered them into a 30 frames per second, 1080p timeline and waited for that to just render out like it normally does. So as you can see here, my library has moved up to around 213 megabytes. This is just with the minute long edit that we've created so far. We haven't done really any changes to it. We've literally just pulled some videos into the timeline. And so from then on, we went back into Final Cut Pro. We did a couple of different edits, but we made sure that the length of the video didn't really exceed min uh, one minute by too much. Uh, we used a couple of transforms. We used the trim tool just to move a couple of clips around. I scaled and rotated and also just moved in position a couple of things. And as you can see straight away, uh, it ballooned to 1.72 gigabytes. And that's with uh, only using footage that was 290 megabytes in file size altogether. So I carried on doing this for the next half hour and here are the results. So the file size project has ballooned all the way to 8.92 gigabytes without really exceeding an, a minute's worth of editing, uh, only using footage worth of 290 megabytes. So what the heck is going on? Well, with every change made to your edit, Final Cut Pro is constantly rendering in the background, creating optimized ProRes versions of your edit without deleting what was previously edited and over time gradually increasing the file size of your library. So one of the first steps that I've found uh, useful in my editing process is to go into Final Cut Pro, select my library and then go into File, Delete Generated Library Files. And what you want to do there is to just click Delete Render Files and you can actually just say All because we won't really need all of it. So I'm going to hit OK. And now if we go into our finder, you'll see that the file size is going to just cut out altogether. Right over there, it's 1.91 gigabytes rather than the 9 gigabytes that it just reached before we changed it. So that's great, but you can see it's already starting to increase again. And that's, as you can see here, is because it needs to render out all of this stuff. And that's fine, but with the more editing that we do, the larger the file is going to be again. So what we actually need to do is to go into our preferences and there's a box over here in rendering called background render. And that's, as you can see, already starts after 0.3 seconds. Now that's what's causing the file to grow so quickly. So what I've done is to untick that box. And now every time I make a change, it's not going to render. You can already see at the top here, the uh, rendering dots have disappeared. And for the time being, it works pretty quickly. But if you find that it's not working quickly, another workaround that you can get is to select all your clips. So I'm going to select one, hit command A right click and transcode media. And what I'm going to do here is just create proxy media. And now that's also going to run in the background. You'll see over here that it starts up in just a minute. And what that's doing is creating a lower res optimized video footage for Final Cut Pro to run a lot more smoothly instead of other huge video formats or very compressed formats. All right, so now all of my proxies have been created and all I have to do to enable myself to edit with them is to click on this view here and then switch over from optimized original, which is ticked at the moment, into proxy media. So once you switch over to proxy media, what you should find is that your workflow works a bit faster than it would have if it was just your normal video clips. So absolutely smooth here. And uh, once I'm ready to render, then you can just click on view and change it back over to optimized. Now, if we take a look at the project, you can see that it's only 870 megabytes rather than the nine gigabytes we accumulated over 40 minutes of editing. And you might be asking yourself, but why is it still a lot larger than the 200 megabytes that we have for, or 290 megabytes that we have for the video footage that we use? And the reason for that is a lot of our video footage uses compressed footage. So when the proxies are created, they are low res, but still in a format that allows you to edit and is optimized for Final Cut. In other words, it doesn't need to slow down in order to read the compressed video formats. Anyways, I really hope this video helped you guys edit your projects without the need for them to grow up to 10 gigabytes in the future. If you have any questions, shoot them down in the comments below. Otherwise, hope to see you guys in the next one. Cheers.